Governor Andy Bashir and other public officials held a press conference at Valley Elementary School Tuesday morning to give updates on the flooding situation throughout Pike County. Here in Kentucky, we are good people. We open our hearts and our homes to one another, and that's what you're seeing here today in Shelby Valley Elementary. You're seeing a school, which is always a beacon of light in the darkness, turned into a staging area where we can make sure people have water that they have the cleaning supplies and ultimately the food that they need. This has devastated portions of eastern Kentucky. The biggest takeaway from the governor's message was that individual assistance through FEMA has been approved for Pike County. The president uh, this morning signed the documentation to provide through FEMA individual assistance to Pike County and also added Floyd. That is now seven counties. They're going to have to go through a process that it's too complicated, we're gonna help everybody. But it's gonna mean that dollars are there for individuals to help them start rebuilding. We are grateful for that. And this is the fastest I've seen individual assistance granted after a natural disaster, admittedly, when I had an opportunity to talk to the president. He said, whatever you need. I said, Mr. President, I need individual assistance. I do wanna say that this is the fastest that I have ever seen in my time in government that individual assistance has been declared. Uh, I reached out, I've talked to uh, the White House's emergency disaster coordinator. Uh, they promised us help and, and the White House delivered. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. Experienced heart specialist and subspecialist collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is a Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. The process for filing a claim for individual assistance can be complicated, but that process can now be started online. The governor is also hoping to soon have a location available for people to go to in order to speak to an individual from FEMA in person to assist in the process. Within a day, we think we are going to have a set location where people can come in and talk to people face to face. It is not an easy process. I would recommend talking directly to a FEMA person, even if it's just starting your claim online, make sure you do that. We've also been promised people in the field. When seven months ago, we had them out there with tablets, walking house to house, making sure that they get the pictures and everything else. And I personally asked the president, the FEMA do a little bit better this time on the number of people that are ultimately approved. Talk to the head of FEMA, that's the administrator, I've talked to our regional head on that, and I'm going to continue uh, to push it. So we will have a location out for FEMA as soon as it is set. And then our goal is to have the transportation cabinet there to replace your driver's license, um, to have um, unemployment insurance there to help people who aren't going to be able to go to work for a while. We're going to try to bring every service under one roof and walk people around because they've already been through too much. The governor is working diligently to get as many people approved for individual assistance as possible. For those wishing to file a claim, you can visit disasterassistance.org. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.